Hi there, welcome back to Minecraft Monster with Feed the Beast. Uh, well, I've been gone a while and look what Matakozy has done. This is impressive, look at it. It's me. Uh, you'll also notice that the spawn town is looking kind of cool now. But this is made with covers, I think. Um, all micro parts. It's really cool looking. Really cool. Uh, so, yeah, today I'm working on um, my Colosseum thing. I also got, well, pranked? I don't know. But there seems to be bedrock in my other shop. Well, that's not very nice. Anyway, uh, I've actually moved where I'm going to build this thing over here. And, um... Yeah, I've uh, kind of made the... Started making out the main room here. And I'm just going to lay out the room and then build it up off camera. So this will be eventually the spectator area. But I'm not going to do the spectator area just yet. So, um... Actually, I want to make that one more. Okay, uh, I just wanted to make it uh, symmetric. So this will be the main entrance into the Colosseum. And we'll just build it out this way a bit. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I'd say. And uh, yeah, so that should be that. And we'll just close it off here. Perfect. And then finally, the last bit will be um, the reward section in the back. Actually, but you know, we might actually leave the reward section and have just the reward drop from the ceiling once you've finished. Yeah, I think that might be a bit easier way to do it. Anyway, I brought some torches with me as well. So let me build up this area and uh, dig out a small basement and we'll be back in a second. Okay guys, so let me just show you what I have. This is the arena. Um, obviously, I'm sure we'll make it nicer at some point, but basically... It will pump in these spawner nets like so and not work. Yeah, okay. We're gonna have to do these from the ceiling. I thought that we might have to do it all right, but I was hoping we didn't. Uh. Okay, so we'll have to rearrange them and put them on the ceiling instead. Um, or in the walls. Oh, we could put them in the walls. The walls would work. Let's put them in the walls. Okay, let's try it again. I've put them into the walls now, and uh, there we go. Zombie attack. Nice. Cool. So, no, this isn't going to work. Because um, I need an output as well. I suppose we'll bring it out the back and just make everything a bit thicker. Alternatively, we'll have to do the roof. Okay, let me put a roof on this thing and we'll see if we could do it into the roof instead. Okay guys, what I decided to do is go for these uh, item ducts instead. So, um, if we just grab ourselves a net. Not the person a net, of course. And check it in here and quickly go upstairs. There we go, zombie spawned. Nice one. Okay, so that's kind of step one. We have the spawner working and it should return the empty safari nets beautifully. Now, what we want to do next 
is get the buttons working. So, uh, I'm gonna get some pressure plates. And I'm also gonna need some sort of doors. Um, and I'm just thinking about that. I wonder if we can just use some iron doors. Uh, can we use two? Does it work that way? I'm not sure if this will work because I don't think iron doors look work this way, but let's let's see if they work this way. I don't think they will. Uh, redstone. Oh no, no, that that works. That works perfectly. Okay, so we'll have a door uh, just here. And then we'll have pressure plates inside. That That's not going to work. Actually, you know what? We'll have pressure plates in here so they won't trigger the doors. But um, we can take a redstone signal from them. That will work. Cool. So, let's get the main part of it. Let's just w hook up some wiring here. So, I have some redstone wire, rad, rad, rad alloy? Red alloy wire here. So, if we pull that off there, we can bring it along here. And we should be able to put a torch on top of that and see if it works. And it does. Cool. So, the pressure plates will now work. And, um... The doors are under here, so we could actually trigger the doors now using these... Pressure plates if we wanted to, but we don't actually want to. This, the main and more, most complicated bit about this is actually gonna be hooking the redstone up. But that is working now. Um, okay, let me just hook up some redstone and we'll be back in just a second. Okay guys, so I'm not sure about the door. I'll have to play with it around some more. So for now, I've just put some pressure pads mainly. Whoa, whoa. This stuff is slippy. Also, you don't seem to be able to leave. Hmm. This stuff might not work. Anyway, uh, let's get back to the way. So if you press the button, it triggers this. There's some torches missing from down here. Sorry, it's like this. Okay, so if you press the button out the front and it will press this. So I want to trigger a latch on pressing it. So I have myself a latch here. Here. So, uh, whoops, no, we want it this way. So if it press the button, it will trigger this way, um, which will bring out its signal, which we can bring out here. And then we also want to, when the plate, floor plate is pressed, so we can press, bring this over here, and this can be our floor line. So when the two of these happen, 
And I have an AND gate here. In, in, out. Yeah, cool. We want to... So, floor pressed, you can see it there. Uh, well, we want to do two things. Actually, we want to... We want to move this a bit, actually. Because we actually want to put it to the other side. Um... Out. Oh, we'll put it here actually. This will work. So we'll put the AND gate here. And we'll bring the this one in here. And we can... We'll need actually... Um, we'll need some micro parts. I'm sure I have a cover. And there we go. So in, in, out. So this will need to, yeah, it can trigger that. And just another cover here. Yeah. And we'll bring that into actually a repeater. And now the repeater can control the difficulty. That's the wrong way, right? There we go. And we'll set that to be um, 16 ticks, which should, should be 16 zombies. So if we get a precision export bus, And we'll get a net. And we will put this to stack only. Uh, and we won't bother with crafting it either. And active with a signal. So. We put the safari net in there. And I just want to trigger this over so it doesn't start now. Cool. So let's connect that up with some ME cable now. I actually have some on me. There. So this should now, after we press both the button, so let's do, let's try it. So we will press the button, which triggers the, um, the zombie selection it should open this door as well and we could probably feed something off that to open the door um, and then once we press onto this it should start spawning zombies now any second come on no okay it didn't let's just check did we output anything no we didn't Uh, let's get ourselves a button and we'll try doing this manually from down here so um, okay let's try a lever Uh, let's put in, actually, if we have a transmitter, we can test this out down here. You can't put a button on these chisel stuff. That's really annoying. So let's put it on this block instead. So that's toggled it on. 
Now, as soon as someone steps there, it should. Let's increase the tick. But I think also that maybe this isn't transmitting the redstone properly. So let's try it again. Okay, let me just play around with this for a second. Okay guys, the problem lies with the export bus. So when there's a zombie in the net, uh, the zombie is stored in MBT. And the export buses do not really consider these the same object. It's the same reason why they're not all grouped together in the ME system. So I don't really have a workaround for that at the moment. I know the TE pipes can do them, so I'm considering just exporting all of the stuff into them, into the chest, and then letting the TE stuff deal with it, but uh, we'll have to see in a minute. For the meantime, I've set this fuzzy bus to export uh, anything into there with enough, um, just to keep exporting. So let's try it. Um, Matacozy has been prettying up the place nicely. Um, so let's press the button. So we press the button. We go in. Get our sword and... I really should have tested this first, shouldn't I? Yeah, should have tested it. Okay, let's test it again. So we press the button. Let's just turn off that for a second and we'll see if it... Ah, there is something in there. So it did 2 in 16, so let's put it up to 32. Uh, we will... that button's pressed, so let's press this button. So it's exporting blank ones and it did 4 that time, which is pretty good. Doesn't match. Um, so let's do it again. Oh, this button first, of course. See four, perfect. Um, but I think four is probably too easy, so let's do that. Uh, let's just switch this over now. So there's the zombies gone up to spawn. So let's take them out. Oh no, little zombie kids! Cool, so let's, let's try that out again. Um, and see if we can get it to actually work. So press the button. And then let's head inside. And the zombies should spawn. And they're not gonna spawn. Oh, they are! Oh my god, it worked! Oh, oh my god, there's loads of them! Kill them all! Kill them all! Yeah! Cool! So that's... That's kind of the object of it now. Uh, you'd also probably drop a diamond then once everyone died. And I'm not sure if there's any way I can randomly spawn these. Um, actually, if I fill them up with stone and just let them go to the first one, then it should randomize a bit more where they're going to spawn. Maybe. 
Let's see. Okay, so that's kind of... That going. This is full of the blank ones, and that's all the blank ones in my system are, I hope. Actually, no, because every time I do it, there's gonna spawn more of them in there. Uh... Yeah, I think he is right, though. I think we need to just export them all in and pull out the the other ones. But anyway, I'm fairly certain that is... Wow, I just look awful. That is all the time we have today. Um, next episode, hopefully, we'll finish up this project. I have a couple of cool little features that I want to add in, like detecting when all the monsters are dead and stuff like that. And I think I just hit something by doing that. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, um, please leave a like. And if you aren't already, please subscribe. Until next time, I will see you later.